Hello guys, it's my pleasure to welcome you to my channel, Exographics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakub. I'm reaching you live from Lagos State, Nigeria. If you are watching my video on YouTube for the first time, consider to subscribe to this channel for more future tutorial. And don't forget to click on the notification bell icon so whenever I upload video, you will be able to watch the video and learn one or two things. Aha! So now let's get to the practical video started. In today's video, guys, I'm going to teach you how you can power clip your picture or your passport like a pro using Corel Draw. So let's see how the technique is done. Right, so the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is to come to my tools bar here. I'm going to select my circle. And I've selected my circle. I press down control key and uh, draw my circle. Then I'll press P to centralize. So this circle here, I'm going to fill it with red color. Then I'll come to the color palette here. I will right click to remove stroke, right? Then I'll go to my pick tools to make it hearty. Then I'll come to the circle again. And I'll press shift key down and drag. I'm going to drag in. Then I will right place with right click just to make a duplicate, right? So. Then the duplicate one here, I'm going to fill it with yellow, right? Now, having done to having gone to this stage, so the next thing I'm going to do is to go to my import icon from the home tab here. Then I'm looking for my picture. So I'm going to use this picture right here. You see it here. I'm going to use this picture. Then I click on import icon and i'll take it down like this now press ctrl d to duplicate this picture i'm going to take this one right here all right so i'm going to select this again now having selected this uh i'm going to press p to centralize that is just to centralize the picture then i'll press shift key and drag to resize the picture so i just need the picture to have a little bit overhead head how far the the circle right okay i said i think I, I i'm satisfied with something like this now the next thing i'm going to do is that i will press that control key then i will drag out with my right click i will drag out with my right click then i will release then i will choose copy here just to make a duplicate Okay, so let me redo it again. I will put control key down, then right click. Then I will choose copy here. All right, so now the next thing I'm going to do is to select the picture now. So I'm going to select the picture. I will now press control key down again and drag it out. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to go to my home tab here. Uh, look for effects, power clip, place inside frame. Right. Now we have to edit this power clip. I'll come down here, click on edit power clip. Then I will select this. Uh, I will press P to centralize it. Right. Then I have to maintain. I have to get a ruler so everything fall in the same. Uh, space, same space okay so i have to use my arrow key and take it to the top so as to be in line with the duplicate right okay so i'll come down here and uh, click on this stop editing wow so the next thing i'm going to do is to fall back to the duplicate picture I'll press that control key and take it to this uh, this place right here. Okay, so we can use our arrow key to make the final adjustment. Cool. 
So now let me zoom out. My zoom to. Okay, we still need to drag more. Cool. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to make sure I select my shift tool here. So I'm going to select my shift tools, then I have to come here down below here. This is where I need. I will select it this way. Then with my arrow key, I will just take it inside until I'm satisfied with the shape. So let's see the results. So we still need to take it in more. So we still need to take it in more. So it has to reach the back of the red color. Still need to take it in more. Okay, so same thing this place. So we have to select this point. Then with backward arrow key, just drag it in. So still need to take it in. You can see. Okay, so we have to come here again. We select this point here and uh, we take it in like this. You can see. Now, finally, we can select the whole point and with our forward arrow key, we take it in like this. Think uh, we have it perfect this way. Now, then go back to our zoom tool and uh, zoom. Wow! So this is how you power clip your picture like a pro using Corel Draw. So if you enjoyed this video, please click like button and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more interesting video like this in Corel Draw. Thank you guys for watching this video from the beginning to the end and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye for now.